So I uh, posted this thing on Instagram about, uh, you know, this story is really about you. And, uh, you know, you, you're the Luke Skywalker of this story. You're the Frodo of this story. And uh, somebody like myself, uh, a good coach, they don't look at themselves as the Luke Skywalker of the story. Uh, they're the Obi-Wan Kenobi, they're the Gandalf, they're the Dumbledore to Harry Potter, right? And in in my own story, uh, there's been many, you know, Gandalfs who have helped me along my path, and uh, Obi-Wan Kenobis and Yodas, and um, one of these guys who has helped me tremendously... Um, extremely successful businessman and just unbelievably kind and, and generous person. Um, he shared a story with me about uh, this uh, uh, Darren Hardy, who is a entrepreneur and uh, founder of Success Magazine. He uh, met this. I met this old guy, a uh, hundred year old, and uh, he wanted to ask him, like, you know, what is his lessons about life, and uh, what did he learn about life, and so he goes to his house, and it's this palatial estate, and, uh, you know, it's got this big, huge gate and all this, and clearly the guy's been extremely successful, and, you know, so he's all ready, and has you know all this stuff and he's prepared to take all these notes and then he gets in there and you know he's led to the library this big majestic library and sits down and finally the old man comes in and uh he's all he's you know he's dressed nice dressed really well he's sits down and he looks darren looks at him and he's like uh did you you know did you think about all the things, you know, all the wisdom and whatnot? And he's like, yeah, I did. And he pulls out a, a note card, <laughs> a three by five note card and, and hands it to him. And he looks at it and it's not even like all the way, f it's not even covered in writing. It's just, you know, a few sentences. And he looks at it and he goes, is this it? And the old man says, yeah. And so... What the old man tells him is basically this. In anything, there's only a few things that matter. To be successful in anything, to be good at anything, to get quality out of anything, there's only a few things that matter. And, you know, that's what he learned in his, his obviously long successful life. Is that you focus on those few things and you will get everything that you, that you want. And uh, I've seen the same thing to be true in pretty much everything. And I'm very fortunate to have stumbled upon this so early in my life. And, um, you know, take for example, in the body. Um, if you focus on getting strong, right, uh, that's going to take care of pretty much every goal or desire you have physically or fitness or health wise getting strong as possible and then as far as getting leaner right it's going to be a very very sm like here here's the vital few here's the few things that matter eat the right amount of food right you're gonna if you eat if you eat more calories than you require it's not gonna work uh it's just not whether you're tracking them or not, they're they're going in your body. So you got to eat the right amount of food. Number two, you have to include each and every day foods that you enjoy and that you like. Not once in a while, not a quote unquote cheat day, which you know that's its own thing and that's uh, own conversation and that's. Uh, um, it's not a helpful way to look at things, um, but that's a that's a conversation for a different day. But every day you include what you enjoy eating. I just got done eating a donut right now, um, and I have one pretty much every day. 
the reason for that second piece is if you eat the stuff that you want every day, you'll be able to do this forever. If you are making yourself eat stuff that you don't want to eat, and it's not gonna, you're not gonna do that for very long. There's only so long you can do that. And then the last thing is do some type of activity that you like. Um, you know, walking is probably not probably it is the most underrated and most effective tool for fat loss. So those are the vital few things, the few things that matter. And, you know, you can see that again and again and again in everything. And the more you try to, like, have more things, the more, the less effective you really become. Um, I, I hired, <laughs> see, that idea about having your Yodas and Obi-Wan Kenobis. Like, I hired a shooting coach. I'm a 33-year-old man. I love basketball. It was my life. And uh, I want to continue to get better. So I hired this amazing coach. And, you know, I, I've been a good shooter. But, you know, when you bring in somebody who knows the, the thing so well, you can exponentially skyrocket your success. So I went from being a really good shooter to, I'm not e I can't even miss and there's a few things that we he's broken it down to so even in a jump shot it's a vital few things that really really matter in having a, a consistent jump shot right um, but yeah so if you want to uh, you know uh, get somewhere faster find a Yoda let him guide you there much faster than you could get there on your own. That's what this is about. Eventually, you'll be somebody else's Yoda because that's the circle of life. But for now, if you're trying to figure something out, you can't. You gotta. You gotta bring somebody in to be in your corner, to be your corner man, right? That's it. I'll see you later.